Hello, Podwalkers, and welcome to a special interlude of the Goblin Lore Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Joe Redman. You can find me on Twitter at Findhorn. That's F-Y-N-D Horn. And I am here to talk to you in this special uh, intermediary episode uh, to give away the uh, Twitter follower 400 level goal that we reached. We finally got to 400 followers a while back, so we are finally getting around to giving away our prize for that. So... With this, we are uh, going to do a selection from our Twitter followers. Uh, as always, you can follow us on Twitter at Goblin Lore Pod, and we are using the Twitrand website to do this. Uh, let me. So, from our currently 514 followers, we are going to select one to win the uh, Amonkhet Kefnet playmat. That we're going to be giving away here, and that lucky follower is Jeff Geddes, at Jeff Geddes on Twitter. Uh, Jeff is from Temple, Texas. So thank you, Jeff, for following us here on Twitter. Thank you all for following us on Twitter and participating in this giveaway experience. Okay, Joe. This is okay. I've been listening to this. What? I've been Whoa. sitting here calmly. Whoa, Hobbs, where did you where did you come? How did you get in my house? Joe, I've been sitting here listening to you, and I am just, You've been this sitting is not okay. here the whole time? I've been sitting here the whole time. I was sitting next to your cat. We waited too long to do this announcement. We have to give something else away. Well, well we're just, we're poor little goblins in our poor little war, and what else could we possibly have to give away? You know, I heard tell that we found somewhere in our warren an original magic art play mat who original magic art is like o- oma yes like oma wow oh my gosh i'm looking at it right now it's the it's the giant wave uh over mount fuji uh block cut wood wood block print uh by hokusai uh that's a that's a really famous piece of art and it's on a on a magic play mat yeah no it actually looks absolutely beautiful we will drop that in for people to be able to see i'm assuming wow if you haven't seen the art before, it is actually absolutely phenomenal. It's classic art. It, I mean, it's seeing the waves in it. We actually, I believe, discussed it with Michelle Rapp in one of our early episodes about the color pie. We did. We did, actually. That, I believe, is... Episode 8 and 9, Color Pie Theory versus Art Movements. Yeah. Well, yeah. that sounds like we've got to pull up another follower, another random follower to... Let's do it. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, let's, let's get twit rand going once again. And the lucky random follower is RJ Scarzum King at King underscore RJ from Saluda, North Carolina. Well, welcome RJ. Thank you for the follow. And we have, uh, we have our second winner here. That is great. And no, we're, we're really excited. We are just hitting our one-year anniversary. We actually had our one-year Twitter anniversary. The anniversary of our first episode is is coming up in uh, six days. Six June 18th. days. We're going to get one more episode in right under the wire, which I believe is going to hopefully be second part of Adam Paquette. Yeah, it's going to be the second part. Speaking of you know classic fine art, we're, it's yeah. going to be the second half of our interview section with magic artist Adam Paquette. Uh, And that's only the second episode of four with Adam Paquette because then we have the mailbag. Yeah, and he talked a lot during that mailbag. It was was great. great. Yes. I feel bad for anybody who had to leave and go to work in the middle of it. That may or may not have been the actual mailman on the (laughs) podcast, which is a certain piece of irony that I would like to brush over in this moment because... (laughs) I, under these this pile of boulders and and weird shaped rocks and uh, I think there's a snail in here too. Uh, I actually found a couple more prizes that we could give away. Uh, can you think of anyone else that we need to give stuff away to, Hobbs? You know we we are we're a small cast. We we have a Discord channel. Yep. People may not realize that for one dollar a month you can join our 
Patreon, and we give that's we give straight up just access to our Discord channel. Yeah, uh, which is pretty and, cool. It's pretty popping in there. We talk yeah like different formats for decks. You know, there's there's lively modern and EDH discussion, a little bit of Oathbreaker here and there. But the big stuff is obviously we talk about lore, and you know when when preview season rolls around, like it, it pops say, off. One thing that I will say too is um, Alex really spearheads our music suggestion. Mm-hmm. And popping in kind of daily music or ideas for songs just for the day that I love. I mean, let's be real. A lot of it is the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack, which is dope. (laughs) Which is dope. But yeah, so we should give something to them, to our Patreon. So we do have two tiers at this point, uh, the $1 and then our $3 actually allows us to, you get to help suggest a topic. And we have some of those coming up. Um, We've had some ideas given to us by our two current tier th- uh, at the three dollar tier so we're going to be doing some episodes for that but we should also give something away to one of our patreons and you know that's something i feel like hopefully we'll be able to do from time to time moving forward yeah and i think especially once we get uh things going a little bit more in that patreon um you know it, it would be awesome i think in my in my goal in the near future is to at least once every couple of months do a drawing for the Patreon subscribers, maybe once a month down the road. I mean, we, we've got a lot of fun stuff to give away. We've got, especially to once we start looking at Goblin merchandise, we'll have Ooh. some things to give to Patreon subscribers and yep. give away to Patreon subscribers. So, yeah. you know, it'll be, there's, there's big stuff coming on all fronts for all that, but, uh, We should, you're right, we should give away some of this stuff. And the stuff that we have to give away is uh, a pile of signed Jeff Miracola Raging Goblins. Uh, Right? Like, how on brand? Yeah. How on brand? Yeah. It, it, I'm a little bummed they don't have Beebles just hidden in the artwork in the back, but we're huge fans of Miracola <laughs> anyway. I mean, and he didn't, the fact that he's done some amazing goblin work. Bow, 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 bow. Oh man, we gotta get those sound effects ready for when we do crack a pack again and send to Marshall during the uh, <laughs> upcoming Minneapolis Magic Fest grill out, which I guess we could mention here in case people are listening and coming to town. There is a Magic Fest grill out, and Goblin Lore podcast members will be around, and we may be having free stuff like we did last year. I think we gave out books. Yep, we did give out books to some winners of uh, a one DH that's one dollar Highlander uh, yep. tournament. Um, we had some trivia. Yep, we had some trivia going as well. Uh, we had uh, sort of like a you know, if you could find us on the floor of the convention center, you got a a small sign or a small prize as well. Um, so we'll be we'll be doing stuff like that. There will be a lot of fun stuff we we're, we're doing. We want to make this a blowout because you know it's it's not like Magic Fest Minneapolis comes around every year. Oh wait! I also wanted to let people know we have already hit our 500 follower giveaway. Uh, we are going to hopefully do that within the next couple of weeks. We want to give a little bit of opportunity because we're going to use today to also announce some of what we have. We are doing. We promised a while ago pretty epic big giveaway so uh for a while i've had people sending me foil mountains um we've been getting a good collection of those so we have a very nice stack i mean there's everything from grand prix ones in here old border i think there were some from like invasion i mean we're talking really cool old art new art lots of foils um i am currently working on finishing up a glob goblin edh deck to Mm -hmm. give away uh it's going to be a cranko EDH, and I am working on getting the cards for that right now. And then I am going to um, try to... What else did we have that we decided? Oh, we have a Titus Lunter Wrath of God playmat from his Kickstarter, which is signed. That's the Amonkhet Invocation, right? Yes, it is. That's the Amonkhet Invocation art, too. And that art was so popular that they actually had to... Um, read like Titus added that in as a second um, like round and it, it was that popular of artwork so we have that and I do not even Alex I know has uh, comic sealed too that we uh, are looking at giving away so we have a lot coming up for the 500 follower giveaway but we wanted to use today to kind of give people a chance to 
Follow us. Get that last follow quick in. EDH deck, Foil Mountains, more playmats. We want to give you guys stuff. Everybody that's out there, we want to give away stuff. We like giving people stuff. We're uh, for our Jeff Miracola signed goblin, uh, signed raging goblins. The lucky patron is going to be friend of the podcast Scott Massey. Oh man, he's gonna Scott's love those gonna too. Pumped. Yes, as, gonna be pumped. as a goblin yeah. aficionado himself, I, I think that's very fitting. Yeah, uh, and you know, I did find one more thing in here, and and what? yeah, there's another thing under this pile of slugs. And we, wow, we have a much nicer hole than I thought we did. Right. Well, well, that's I. I don't know where all the slugs came from because it was just one before. But there's a lot of slugs here now, so <laughs> we need to get the uh, the goblin exterminator team on this. But uh, that said. We do have a selection of Magic the Gathering novels. The the novels from previously in Magic's run when they were uh, putting out Magic Story through, you know, paperback uh, book form. And so uh, we're going to give one of those away and we're going to let the uh, patron have their choice of, of the ones that we have. So we'll we'll contact them. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do like a little post, have them send a, a picture that yeah. we can post on Twitter. So everyone awesome. can see. But uh, the winner of the novel this month is Clay Spencer. That's MTG underscore Clayby on Twitter. Thank you, Clay. Thank you for following us and, and supporting us on Patreon. Uh, Clay is has been one of our longest supporters here on Patreon. And, and uh, so we're very happy to get you... Uh, your choice of Magic the Gathering novel. So we'll contact you for your address and for uh, your your choice of book. <laughs> well, thank you all for either following the uh, Twitter account or supporting us on Patreon. Uh, like we said, we're going to try to get do a giveaway at least once every couple of months. Uh, again, our ideal is to do one of these once every month once we get our, our follower and Patreon count up a little bit. Uh, we've got plenty of novels to give away. Like Hobbs was saying, we've got comics, we've got cards, we've got tokens, and we are hoping very, very soon to have actual Goblin Lore swag, too. So uh, keep your ears and uh, uh, antennae and other, other sort appendages? of radio, yeah, radio receiving yeah. appendages and stocks and all that sort of stuff tuned to the cast to see what comes up on the horizon yeah it's been a great first year we got 40 episodes we'll be at 41 right before the one year it's just I, I i'm shocked i'm sitting here in complete disbelief that we are recording this right now but it's been just great we have so many good ideas I, if we ever give access for our patreons to the list of ideas they will see just how ridiculous number of topics we are prepared <laughs> for at some point and well and how ridiculous the topics are too <laughs> well, yeah. that's the best part that's that's yeah. the best part is we we love what we do and we are very willing to just be as zany and out there as as we can as we you know talk about fun stuff in in magic lore because because we know that that's fun for us and we hope that you guys find that fun too and and those of you that are following us we can tell that you find it fun and that really makes it worthwhile to us so yeah, I I am just I have to just ditto what you said, Hobbs. I I am shocked and amazed and so excited for the next the next year and the next coming years in in yeah. the Goblin Lore cast. So yeah, so keep calm and blow things up. Thank you all for listening, and remember, <laughs> goblins like snowflakes are only dangerous in numbers. <laughs>